uh, this will be the year when we see large uh, million dollar campaigns, multi-million dollar campaigns, we call them 360 campaigns, where they have multiple disciplines all serving uh, one purpose, where word of mouth is at the center of the campaign. So the paid media is in service to word of mouth, the earned media or public relations is in service of it, uh, the direct, you name it. Uh, and, the, and that will be because whatever we're selling, whatever uh, issue we're promoting, uh, we've seen that word of mouth is kind of the key indicator of our success. So if we get advocates going and talking about something, that's great, and let's use all of our muscle in the 360 uh, pie of, of uh, marketing and communications to help fuel that. There's not one size fits all uh, measurement model right now, but one good uh, model that seems to work well for us uh, is when we're combining reach measures with, uh, we call them brand or product preference measures and then action measures. So let's, the pre preference one is the ones that we really care about here. So that's um, favorability, so positive versus negative. Gesundheit. <laughs> so the one we really care about most is preference, right? So that's where we're talking about um, measures of favorability, positive versus negative word of mouth, or any nuance of sentiment of, as how people are expressing themselves online, and then share a voice. So if we can increase share of voice, and if we can increase favorability and uh, other message pull-through for a particular uh, product or service, uh, that can be an indicator of increased preference for the product or even consideration of purchase. So these are really serious business-like uh, measurements and metrics that we're now applying to word of mouth.